Please join me in welcoming Councilman Mark Scott. You can tell who's been on a, a Navy ship before. They're leaning back in their chairs, and it's just physically impossible for me to lean back in that chair knowing the water's behind me. I, uh, it's times like this that I, I curse my mother. My mother is gifted with emotion. She will cry at a beautiful sunrise, and this is emotional. It is great to be here amongst you. It is fantastic to see people that care about their country, and it is uh, certainly a privilege to represent the city of Corpus Christi here today. You may see in your program that our mayor is Nelda Martinez, and I'm telling you I'm not Nelda Martinez. Nelda had to stay in Corpus Christi and handle some very important business, and I am privileged that she let me attend on her behalf and be here with you today. I also want to thank Ram and the Veterans Band. They are truly a pride, the pride and inspiration for many Corpus Christians and carry our name and banner proudly throughout the country. Thank you, Ram. I was reflecting this morning on the, the rhythm of life. Uh, we get up, we have our coffee, we go to work, or for the last three days, for Carol and I, we get up, we get our coffee, we feed the birds on the balcony. There's a rhythm to life. We all have it, we know it. And yet today is a day we pause. Today we pause and recognize a job well done and a journey ending. It's a day we recognize the men who served us and served us well. One of my favorite songs is a song by One Republic called I Lived, who has some great lines, some of which is, through it all, I lived. With every broken bone, I did it all. And I would assume if the city of Corpus Christi is truly our namesake, you have had plenty of idiosyncrasies to deal with over the years. And yet it's those flaws that have made the city of Corpus Christi a better place and, 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 and emblematic of our statement, we did it all and we did it well. What a rare privilege and honor to be here recognizing the journey completed. To you, the boat, we say, job well done, our faithful friend. To the men who served her, we say thank you. And we know that it has not always been easy if it is indeed our namesake but we know you have done it well and with pride and made it a better ship. I've been asked a number of times the last couple of days why such a pride we have had in Corpus Christi and why the number of people that are here. And the answer is simply found in your crest, God and country. You see, Corpus Christians are about God and country. It's in our DNA. We were founded in, our mili in the military uh, is, is instance. Colonel Kenny started our community in the early 1840s. In fact, General Zachary Taylor brought one half of the whole U.S. Army to our community during the war with Mexico. And countless, countless men and women have been trained, flight training, in our community since World War II. So we are prideful in our country and we are prideful for the service of our men and women who have served our country and our community well. And so we depart this place, a time for recognition, a moment of reverence, and most deeply, we are thankful for your service, machine and man. Thank you.